Hi, let me show you how you lock your training dive in the Paddy app. First, you need to go to your App Store or whatever you find your apps and find the right Paddy app. It's the one with the white edge, we can see around here, not the blue one, and you just tap on it. It's the same account as the one you used for your e-learning. If you had all your training with books, you need to make a new uh, account. I'll just choose sign in. And now you're inside the app. You should go to the bottom portion of it where you see dive. It's down here. Dive. And here you have different possibilities. Well, you want to go to your logbook like this. And you can see I have already different kinds of dives, dive one, two, and three verified. The system is you ask your instructor to verify that your uh, dive is correct and what you have done, all the skills you have been doing. And when you have made this registration, you're sending, it's pending. When the instructor says, yeah, that's right, it's okay, and click it in, in the paddy uh, side of things, it comes back to you as a verified dive. So what I want to do now is I want to lock a new dive. So the plus sign in the top, like this, it's a training dive because it is a part of, of the open water. I want to dive four and just go next. It's open water diver and you can see I still haven't locked my dive four. And now comes just a few questions I need to fill out. So where did you dive? You can see it is, it's not in the PADI system, but it appears like this extra line. Go over there. And now I have the dive site and I have today's date. I can actually change that. If I want to. Like that. And this is a very important part of it. You need to have your instructor's PADI number. And you just punch in the instructor's number like this. What kind of dive did you do to the shore dive? And it's done. Now at the bottom you can see there are three dots. If you swipe to the left, like this, you punch in how deep did you go. I mean, this is just, we actually did go to eight meters. How long time? We were there for 35 minutes. It's done. Swipe again. As I'm sure you have noticed, your instructor are often using these slates. The slates is sort of a memory card for, for the instructor to remember that there are some certain skills you have to do on dive one, two, three, and four. And these, are, these skills are defined, but then on top you have some flexible skills. And these flexible skills, the instructor can put in wherever it fits in your training. And it's these flexible skills you need to tick off in your um, when you're asking to get your uh, dives verified. So let's go ahead and see what the skills are and let's do some checking. We did these skills and of course you need to register exactly the skills you did. This is fine. And then I can submit for verification. It means that now a message is sent to my instructor, like this. And now I can continue lock if I want to. And now comes a lot of questions about conditions, about gear, air temperature, and so on, water type. And it's a very good idea to fill all of this out, so you know if it's salt water, if it's fresh water, and also your equipment is quite important because next time you dive in the same place, you know exactly what to adjust, what, where you one kilo to light or two kilo to heavy. So you can just adjust all this, what gear, where you weigh, or having like this. And yeah, how did the dive go and who's your body and so on. So this is very good. 
And you can do this later, you don't have to do it right away. But now you can see here out in front that I have a pending dive. So I'm waiting for my instructor uh, to yeah, just verify that we did this dive. So it's just about waiting. Oh, here it is. Now open water training dive four is verified. It means that now you're ready to be an open water certified diver. And as soon as your instructor has finished the little thing inside the paddy system, you are ready to go on your own. So congratulations with your new certification. You will receive an email confirming and you will be able to go back to your e-card and you can see your certification in there. Let's try it. So just going to e-cards and in here you can see all the different certifications you have. You can just, yeah, and it, your, it will appear in here. So congratulations again. Enjoy.